Last Sunday, May 18th, 2014, the Swissies had a referendum and voted against the purchase of 22 Saab Gripen, fourth generation fighter jets from Sweden, for an amount of 3.1 billion Swiss francs for the Swiss Luftwaffe. Yes, the name of the Swiss Air Force is still the same as the Nazis had in World War II. But why this gun-loving alpine base of racism and financial crime said no to the Jets? Well, I will tell you exactly why. It was their plan to have the US taxpayer pay for it through huge billion or trillion dollar tax fraud by the Swiss Nazi banks. Just look at the fine the Swiss Credit Suisse bank with that former swastika logo had to pay simultaneously 2.6 billion US dollars which is almost the same amount as those 22 Swedish fighter jets cost as the US dollar has almost the same exchange rate as the Swiss franc has. I'll put the whole article in the links then, eh? So, same amount and the exact same time. Sunday the jet voting and next Monday the official confession of guilt of organized financial crime on US soil after the official indictments by the, U by the IRS. And this $2.6 billion fine was already known in Switzerland before the referendum took place on Sunday. They knew it all and were aware of the inevitable giving back the stolen money. So what was planned to be a free renewal of the Swiss Luftwaffe out of the pockets of the US taxpayers has to be paid back now. So I put it all in the links below the uh, the video so you can read it quietly after. And you can see the enormous proofs of this um, huge crime by the Swissies. But why nobody goes to jail then? Because if you or I would st even steal $10, you'd go to jail. Well. Because small thieves get hanged while the big ones get a medal. And this is not the first time the Swissies pull this off, as they did the very same thing in 1929 on Black Tuesday with the Swiss Bank of International Settlements together with the Federal Reserve, which was Hitler's Nazi bank of Jalmaschacht, thus financing the Nazi war industry, this time not with US tax money, but directly stealing all the savings of honest. U.S. citizens, see my video, uh, Switzerland's Nazi Templar Banks, for more. It is not without reason that my video, Octagon Rules Over Pentagon, has been forbidden in both the U.S. and Switzerland. So someone from another country, please copy and re-upload. And back then in 1929, there was no NSA and IRS yet. And if there weren't today, the US taxpayer would have offered their 22 fighter jet present for the Swift Swiss Luftwaffe today, as financial crime is the most invisible of all. And this is what the guy of the Luftwaffe back then had to say. And here are some comparisons between 4th and 5th generation fighter jets. So here you can see the differences. First generations, they only have guns. The second generations, they got missiles. The third generation, they are radar guided missiles and uh, very maneuverable. Here's the first generation. This was the the Saab Gripen or Gripen. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and this is the fifth generation. As the Americans, the Chinese, the Russians, even the Japs, they have it stealth abilities well I told you before so this was the uh, the US gift supposed to be the US gift there was the plan for the Swissies why well, don't work eh thanks to the IRS and the NSA well, I don't like governments but uh, I have to admit this 
a fourth generation fighter jet like the uh, the Saab um, uh, Gripen stands no chance at all against a fifth generation jet because of the advanced satellite guided missiles and the computer techniques the possibility to fly at supersonic max speed for a long time at cruise speed and the stealth technology making it look like a bird on radar very fast bird though <laughs> 